Hello everybody and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to create our master page which will we'll draw, uh, will extend all of our uh, other views with. Or actually our other views will extend from. So I've already created a layouts folder and inside this layouts folder I have a master.blade.php file. So we'll go ahead and get started here. So Go ahead and get use this. I'm not going to use a title at all. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to bring in the uh, Bootstrap CDNA. So I'm going to grab that and bring that in. Now you can use whatever CSS you want. I'm using Bootstrap because that's the one I'm most familiar with. And I'm simply going to style the form out that we're going to make actually the table because we're going to use the table to display of all, all of our data so I'm just going to say table form I don't need to put that on I don't need to put that on two lines so table form and we're just going to simply say margin bottom is there going to be zero so margin bottom and zero Okay, next one, uh, the form under the ordered list, we're just going to say margin left, zero, and the font style, list style actually, the style is going to be none. Alright, next we're going to, any error, uh, the, any errors, classes that we have which we'll be making uh, we're going to give it a color of red and a font style of italic so font style is going to be italic and next we're going to apply some styling to the body and we're just going to say padding top 20 pixels okay Inside the div, actually inside the body, we're just going to have a div of the class of container. And inside that, we're just going to have an if statement. We're just going to say if, at if, uh, the session has a message, has message, I'm going to create a div. So and this div is going to have a class of flash and alert, which are our bootstrap classes. And we're just going to echo out uh, inside the paragraph tag. We're going to say session. And we're going to get the message. So session get message. And that's all for that. Right here, we can say end if. And here, we're going to go ahead and yield the content. So, at yield content. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. And in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and set up our index page. So stay tuned for that tutorial.